New tools within ArcGIS Online and InfraWorks will allow you to use authoritative, up-to-date GIS information, along with BIM, to help drive more informed decisions, even as data is updated on the fly. Within InfraWorks, we'll use the same functionality as we did in previous videos to add data from the Bellstaff Hydrant Audit Map to the Bellstaff InfraWorks model. We'll add the Hydrants layer to the model as City Furniture. When the content has finished loading in InfraWorks, it will appear on the Data Sources panel, and we can use the configuration options to assign ArcGIS online data fields to the native InfraWorks ones, and choose a model from the style palette. It's worth noting that the style of the data can also be driven by data in the attribute fields, not just a single style chosen from the palette. These fields can also be used to drive tooltips for the layer, and we'll see more of this later in the video. Click Close and Refresh, and the ArcGIS Online content will be ready to go. We can zoom into a hydrant and see the fields from the ArcGIS Online data table, along with all of the data associated with each feature. Now, if we zoom inside our development, we can see that this hydrant is one of the ones that our field crew was scheduled to audit. Obviously, we don't want it just lurking inside our condo. If we click on the hydrant, we can see the attribute data associated with it, the facility ID, the last editor, location description, and more. We know that our field crew has been out working hard and we want to make sure that what we're seeing is the most up-to-date version of the hydrant audit layer. If we open up the data panel again and right-click on the hydrant layer, then click Refresh, InfraWorks will reconnect to the ArcGIS online data source and refresh it. The hydrant disappears, and if we navigate to outside the building, we can see that the hydrant now reflects its new position, and it also has updated attribute information. The last editor's name has been updated, the flow has been updated, and there's a note saying that the hydrant has been relocated. We can make use of this new information to apply tooltips to the layer so that the information pops up when a user hovers over a hydrant. By going to the tooltip tab of the data source configuration panel, we can select a property from a list of both native InfraWorks properties and ArcGIS online properties. First, we'll type in a short description so that users know what they're looking at. And then in this case, we'll choose editor from the properties. And we can carry on adding new lines as we see fit, then close and refresh the layer. The next time we hover over a hydrant, we can see who edited it last and what the edit type was. And the next time we refresh the layer, the tooltips will update to reflect any changes that were made to the layer, either by a GIS admin in the office or by a field crew using Collector.